here. So let's see. This is an amateur bracket. Uh, not amateur. Um, free bracket. So we're going to see some fun characters like Krogunk and Darkrai. I actually haven't seen Pacano bring out the Darkrai in a bit, I feel like. Um, maybe I just haven't seen. But he's been, most of been second to either Brakeson or Charizard. So I wonder how this Darkrai is going to hold up after all this time. Meanwhile, we have Sartax Krogunk. Um, a character he's always won the play since DX came out. Kind of like switches on and off with it. So let's see how Krogunk fares. Using that speed up to his advantage, able to snag in those hits. What three row? And more sludge bombs. That defense debuff is gonna just keep staying on Pagano. Now with that defense debuff, he's gonna be able to have access to a tier two Veno Shock. Which is powerful enough on its own. Let's see, ooh, we got a wall combo, but ah not quite really get much going. But the sludge bomb pool is like an okay situation, and Pagano just cannot get Star Attack off of him right now. Here we go, that counter gun. Throw things a bit in his favor. Oh, nice red armor usage, but it does give Pecan double buffs. I think that is a true punch, actually, if you time it right. So that was good stuff, but Pecan's still living a little bit. I will say, I know Darkrai does have a problem against the lasers, but all things considered, Venom Shock is not one of the best ways, just because that's huge startup time. Kind of, kind of bringing this back right now. And nice, that setup actually gave him plenty of time to react to the poison jab, but Sorry Attack's final gunk shot right there, able to snag that. Okay, so. Oh man, unfortunately. Sorry Attack was getting a little bit lucky with his JAs getting all those sludge bombs, which is a pretty good outcome. Better than Bomb, I would say, but. Okay. Now, both players do have their burst. Both of them do get the... I, uh, I guess Krogan does get his burst pretty quickly. Darkrai, not so much, but... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop his burst first. He has the attack buff as well. This could be a um, dangerous situation for Sorry Tag if he plays it right. Takes that chip from Fennekin. And setting a bull of traps out there on Sorry Tag. He just has to keep holding the shield, take all this chip. But he is going to be waiting out um, Pecano's burst, so... He does get some advantage in some way out of that, but when... Pecano does go out of verse, that actually does clear out his traps. That's probably what uh, Sorry Tag was looking for. Sorry Tag now having Pecano up against the wall. Gets a boulder. Uh, not able to quite combo off of it, however. In the attack on the wake up. Big combo coming in here. Ending with the defense debuff as well. Oh, that bomb does. Gonna put things a little bit in his disfavor. But Sorry Tag now gonna have his burst active. Oh, nice grab right there. Okay, okay. I like that. But. Alright, so now. Oh, it's Artag in a bit of a bad situation. Only has a little bit left on his burst. And here we go. Is it gonna hit? Oh, nice Fennekin from Pacano. Nope. He, just, he doesn't need to approach. He can just stay put. Yeah, there you go. There's the time. Okay. Now, one downside to um, winning by timeout is that you don't get your cheer skill. So, Bacana won't be getting any support, he won't be getting any synergy <laughs> out of it. Alright, so, Sorry Tag getting set up and having the bomb there to protect him as well. And the Foul Boy fall off, oh my god, that's a lot of damage on the defense debuff as well. Sorry Tag, not Sorry Tag, Bacana getting out of the corner. Oh, with the bomb just activating right there. Ooh, this could be a little bit difficult for Pecan to get out. The bomb is still active, but okay, he's out of the way now. They're gonna frog deer. Pecan has to respect that right now. He can't afford to take any hits. Here comes Fennekin, create some distance. Oh, okay, Sartak got a little bit um, um, anxious with his jumps there. I feel like Pecan could have gotten a lot more out of that instead of a grab, but either way. And, oh, this is really close for Pecano. Can he bring him back? Oh, but the boulder coming in clutch. And hitting Pecano at the last second. See, um, the boulder is um, actually um, a really good um, option there because when Crowland is lower on health, he actually has um, a better chance to, uh, to get his more successful um, pulls from gunshots, such as boulder or tornado. So going for that option was... Um, well, um, he could afford going for that often because that's a situation. Krogan doesn't have to worry so much about bad outcomes. Alright, here we go. Pecano now going into the breaks in. This is a scary magic for 
Very scary. So I'm here in Star Texas is a scary matchup. I, I'm not quite sure. I, it's funny because like every single like people like put like matchup tier lists or like shows in general. I don't think I've ever seen anyone like who plays another character who, like put out the matchup list. Never seen anyone put on their list that they have a disadvantage against Krogunk. I've only seen that they have advantage. So as far as I know, Krogunk doesn't have many good matchups, but I can kind of see why this matchup could be rough for Krogunk just because projectiles um, can really be troublesome. Also, light screen I think actually can work around Boulder if I remember correctly. All right. I'll try to go for the re-grab, but not quite working out. I feel like I'm for homing probably will work out better. Alright, here comes Frogadier for a setup. Oh, actually able to avoid the Frogadier. Oh, this is a scary situation for um, Kano now, but Sartak is up against the corner. Oh, nice use of the wall cling there. Oh, here we go. And a combo off of the counter. It's a flamethrower for the wall spot as well. Pekano swinging this back a bit in his favor. Well, and that counter is going to seal it right there, okay. Alright. This Kano is um, coming in clutch these um, past few rounds. See if he can keep it up or if Sartai is going to keep it. Go, right, um, come back. Okay, so the um, counter actually being out the uh, Switch Bomb and destroying it. Now Kano using his burst trying to get out of the corner. Oh, combos off of the counter. He goes to grab reset, but not quite going to work out. Oh, and there's a nice burst. Confirm into it. Let's see, this is going to be doing a good amount of damage, and the speed debuff is going to speed debuff is going to hurt. Talon does have his fan and his burst attack at the ready. Whatever he needs to. Alright, so Talon not able to get his burst out. Oh man, Tornado and into a Frogadier combo? Ooh, what is this? Oh man, the weird wall. Um, kind of getting a bit in the way. But yeah, can I use the fan? Can get Star Attack out of there. That was a very risky foul play from Star Attack. I'm not quite sure what he was trying to call out there. Oh man. Oh, there we go. Kano able to snag that last round. We're going to game three on this. Alright, so we're going to game three. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. See how. And we're getting a change from Sorry Tag to Aegis Slash. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Um, I actually don't think I've seen this matchup personally, so I wonder how this is gonna work out. So we got Swerve and Breaks. Okay. Not really. Oh. What? I'm not. I don't play! He doesn't know this match, I don't know. You just beat me two weeks ago! You beat me the week before that! Um, Okay. So here we go, we're going into... Game 3. Alright, so... Um, Kyle Gun offering Emolga this time around instead of the Fankin, which I definitely agree with. Emolga can be a very, very strong tool against, um, Aegis Slash. Aegis Slash only has, uh, when he's in shield form, Aegis Slash only has one option to get around it, so... Here we go, combo time from Sorry Tag to those four wides. Whoa, that was... odd. It's not that speed debuff, it's gonna be hurting Sorry Tag a little bit, but... Wait, going to shield, I know that gets rid of buff, did that get rid of debuff as well? I don't think it does. No. Alright, so now, Star Attack getting lots of damage in with those Fury Cutters. Oh, nice counter. Actually able to hold through the whole thing. Alright. This is a close situation. And the counter right there snagging it for Pacano. Counter! 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 This isn't even crap, it's counter. It works because counter last one. So here we go. Kano in a really, really nice lead right now. Has his burst at the ready whenever he needs it. I recommend using it whenever Sartag goes in his field at it. 
Oh, that can actually worked out against uh, JX. I don't think the was expecting that. That's a combo. Good. Respecting the, the Shadow Sneak. That, that does counter Pierce. Sorry, Tag just not getting a chance to breathe right now. Got to activate his burst. Trying to get an advantage. And Kano is a snag with the forward wide. Get up Fennekin. Being out the 6x with. And Kano going into his burst. And here's the first activation from Sorry Tag. Briggs is stupid. Why why is he stupid? Alright, so here we go. Some nice damage coming out onto Sorry uh, from Sorry Tag. Kyle still though has his burst uh, attack active. Oh, this could be a bit, a bit scary though. Oh, and there we go. That's gonna snag it. Wait, this this is breaks and burst. It might not kill. <laughs> Alright, but there we go. So Tag didn't quite respect um, the Kana's burst attack and did have to take it the loss for it. Kana will advance 2-1.